Alrighty, another paleo profile. Now let's keep up the Mesozoic train of weird non-dinosaurian animals, this time going to the Cretaceous. We take a look at a weirdo archosaur crocodilian with many interesting and unique traits, some very similar to a modern animal. More on that later. You always hear the saying, crocodilians haven't changed much at all in millions of years. Well, that saying is entirely untrue, because the scaly semi-aquatic predators we see in our modern ecosystems are a far cry from how diversified and varied crocodilians once were during the Mesozoic. Before the KPG mass extinction, crocodilians weren't just semi-aquatic ambush predators, they used to inhabit almost every niche, from boar-like car-sized long-legged terrestrial predators, to massive pancake-mouthed whale-sized monsters, to cow-like herbivores. Our perception of crocodilians is actually quite limited, they quite literally ruled the world during the time of the dinosaurs, and were extremely widespread and extremely varied. And today's animal will definitely highlight just how weird crocodilians got during such a time. I'm of course talking about the truly amazing Armadillo Sucus. And to clarify, no, I'm not making that name up. And with a name that literally means Armadillo Crocodile, you know this thing was badass. Discovered in 2009 and living during the late Cretaceous period about 90 million years ago in what is now Brazil, Armadillo Sucus was around 6.5 feet long and weighed about 260 pounds. It was a member of the ancient group the Crocodilomorphs. Distant cousins to the dinosaurs, the Crocodilomorphs, which I will sometimes just refer to as crocodilians for short, are the group that encompasses modern crocodilians such as crocodiles, alligators, and etc., but also includes many of the amazing distant relatives to our modern gators. And the group that was truly the weirdest was Notosuchia. From the herbivorous pug-snouted Samosicus, to the duck-mouthed Anatosicus, to the almost rabbit-toothed Yacarearni. Like the Protosaurs, the entire group was filled with weirdos and bizarre experiments of evolution, and Armadillo Sucus was one of the weirdest. Armadillo Sucus seems to be a bizarre combination between, well, just as the name implies, an armadillo and a crocodile. It possessed a very crocodilian snout and head, but a very armadillo-like set of body armor, legs, and surprisingly teeth and jaws. The animal possessed many traits one would expect in a mammal, but looks bizarre in a crocodilian. It also possessed rather long and slender legs that were more suited for walking than swimming, and because it lived in a quite dry and arid climate, with very few rivers and lakes with permanent water, it can be inferred that it was almost an entirely fully terrestrial animal, much unlike its modern relatives. Let's just start out with talking about the most identifiable trait, the armor. The body armor of Armadillo Sucus are actually heavily modified osteoderms, bony scales, present on the backs of our modern crocodilians, which evolved into bands and shields. The back and body is lined with seven armored bands, which were flexible and allowed for some mobility, so thus the describers of the fossil called them mobile banded body armor. The neck was covered in a shield of hexagonal plates, which was separate from the seven armor bands. This meant Armadillo Souk's armor cleverly is split into two parts, a cervical shield that protected the neck, and the banded body armor that ran down the rest of the animal's back and sides. This separation in the armor of the head and the body would allow the neck to move independently from the rest of the body instead of being permanently locked into one position, giving the animal more mobility in its neck and head while staying protected for the most part. Rather amazingly, this trait would evolve around 90 million years later in our modern armadillos because it's so dang genius. This body armor was most likely used for defense, just like modern armadillos, due to many large predatory crocodilians inhabited the region such as Borosuchus, a 13-foot-long, long-legged carnivore, which probably would have had a hard time getting past all that armor. In addition to its body armor, Armadillo Sucus's jaws and teeth are actually very unique. Possessing a shorter snout than most crocs, Armadillo possessed teeth that differed throughout its mouth, specializing for different uses, again unlike those of modern crocs. With large curved, almost tusk-like or canine-like teeth in the front of its mouth, to smaller chronical teeth in the back, to scissor-like shearing teeth in the way back of the mouth. This is most unlike modern crocs and actually is more like that of a mammal. The animal's jaws is actually interesting as well, as it is able to slide forwards and backwards in a grinding motion impossible for our modern crocs. The diet of Armadillo Sucus for this reason was most likely omnivorous, using its bizarre dental structure for foraging for insects, mollusks, and dry meat, and even roots, pines, and tubers. Yes, a crocodile that ate roots and possessed armadillo armor. And that's not all. Many traits of Armadillo Sucus suggest it preferred a life of digging holes and burrowing, like a groundhog or, well, an armadillo. Armadillo Sucus had large and robust hand claws, a long and wide scapula, a robust neck and head, and anteriorly facing teeth all traits common with burrowing animals. 
It has been inferred, like the modern armadillo, due to its dry and arid habitat, armadillosuchus need to dig deep into the soil for moisture and plant tubers full of water to avoid dehydration. For these reasons, armadillosuchus is an amazing example of convergent evolution, as many, many traits of armadillosuchus are common with that of armadillos, simply due to them having very similar environmental conditions that would have shaped such a common evolution. Both animals lived in very similar regions, both very hot and dry, and filled with hungry predators. Such parallels happen commonly throughout Earth's history. Armadillosuchus was found in the Burrow Group, a fossil formation in southern Brazil. Once again, its environment was very, very much like that of southwestern North America, very hot, dry, and arid, but it rained quite often, resulting in constant seasonal rainfalls and flash floods. It shared its environment with several other oddities, many of which were crocodiliomorphs. The large-eyed, long-legged, cat-like crocodilian Admontinosuchus, to the canine-like Merleriosuchus, to the tiny Susasuchus, to the large carnivorous Borusuchus. Again, it becomes quite clear that crocodilians ruled this region, with dinosaurs being comparably rare, with only a few sauropod species and the very fragmented remains of an unknown Albarosaurid. Sadly, Armadillosuchus, the heavily armored crocodile digger, became extinct during the end of the Cretaceous, and the KPG mass extinction killed off many of these weirdos and diverse crocodilians, only leaving us with our modern boring ones. The good news is, is that a certain group of mammals 90 million years later would keep up the tradition of armor diggers, armadillos. I really think armadillosuchus is a super awesome and truly amazing animal from an equally bizarre environment. Sadly, this guy doesn't have any pop culture depictions to my knowledge, so that sucks. But I think this amazing armadillo croc needs some attention. Thanks for watching.